Hey, the fucks, it's Roslyn, back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, I know we're really going through some really rough patches right now, going through some bumpy roads, but, you know, it's going to lead us to, you know, hopefully our utopia <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i was i would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just uh, tell me about your empath the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with another empath that truly needs to hear it that it, at that time, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support, which I greatly appreciate. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I've been doing every video like this, um, showing my daughter's uh, drawing that she's done, which is so beautiful. Um, she has uh, this fundraiser going on right now. I'm posting uh, the link in every video description. Um, if you can go ahead and donate just a couple of dollars, it will greatly be appreciated. My daughter, I'm so proud of her. She has raised $700 all by herself in the last few weeks. And she's only left with $200 she needs to raise in the, within the next 29 days. So if you can just stop by the channel, stop by her website and look, you know, she has a book that she, she has coming out uh, with different poems, you know, from different artists and different poets and stuff like that. It's just, you know, showing different drawings and all this stuff. It's called Millennial something. I forgot, oh, God forgive me. Because <laughs> I, my daughter got so much stuff going on. I told her I will go ahead and try my best to help her raise up the next, you know, for the next couple of weeks to get this money out uh, for her to be able to get this book done so um if you can i'm gonna be posting her link in the description box below if you can please just go ahead and stop by there donate if you can donate just a few dollars whatever you you can afford it is greatly appreciated and let her know that you uh you've been sent by her mom so but anyways with that being said the meditation music that i'm listening to today is called uh aura cleansing healing activate balance all seven chakras awakening energy meditation music i'm gonna post that link in the description box below as well and let me turn it up a little bit so you can hear it does it have those crazy beats going on so it shouldn't sound crazy in the back of the video but today my video is about twin flame 101 our lives our lives are coming into play like uh, like a video game. I was saying that on my last video. I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, use that as the next content. Um, it's like everything that we're going through right now um, has been really crazy. We've been going through portal jumping, shape shifting. Uh, uh, what is it? Just close the door. It's fine. Uh, shape shifting, um, astral projection. Uh, we're going through different dimensions. We're having these euphoric. Uh, times where you feel kind of lightheaded or high you know when you're coming up from sleep or even meditations where you know we have we're, we're doing a lot of shifting so it's just like you know what it reminds me of a video game because i was describing that you know in the last video so you know it's just like all the situations like if you have ever played a video game my favorite growing up was uh tetris uh sonic sonic the hedgehog uh, the Atari that has that little spaceship going around, do 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 do, you know, <laughs> and that's telling my age. We had Atari back in the day, and Super Mario Brothers uh, from Nintendo. I love those games, but it's like in Zelda. I love those growing up, and you know, there's a lot of gamers and stuff that's on there. So I'm not interested in it now. If I do anything on my Xbox, is like uh, hip hop dance, and um, I forgot what the other one is, Dance Central. Yeah, I do those. I haven't did them in a while, but, you know, I used to love doing those when, when me and my kids were all together uh, during the holidays. We used to do it, but we haven't did it in a while. But it's just like when you look at the life that we are given right now, especially going through all these crazy levels, it's just like a video game. Because, you know, for you to be able to get to that next level of 
where we need to be to be our best version of ourselves. We have to go, got to kill these things off, which we got to just kill all the negativity in our life. You know, power up, you know, get enough rest. Think positive thoughts is coming through our minds. You know, push out positivity so we can be able to get that karma right back. You know, you're doing things selflessly. If you're always doing something to get something in return, you know, good things aren't going to happen to you. That's why it's just like, you know, when people always say, I don't know how to repay you. Just to see people healing from things that has hindered them so long. You know, it's just like a lot of people have been telling me, you know, throughout the years the last two years you know they were like you know I always ask God or ask universe to pray that somebody I can like relate to or I can talk to is not going to judge me and next thing you know you pop up your videos pop up and you're you know and then when they finally know who I am it's like a lot of people are like oh my god you know this this and this and that not everybody but a lot of people when they found out who I was related to I'm just like it doesn't matter who I'm related to I'm, I'm the girl next door I'm still me you know, it doesn't matter, but it, it's just like when they really got to know me, I always try to push out positivity. You know, we're not always going to have a good day, you know, but it, it's just like when you know you can go through something so traumatic and be able to, you know, when I see people that are going through really bad times, I always try to make them laugh or make them look at things in a different perspective and all these things and it you know we really need that so it's just like when we're doing this life of a video game you know that for you to be able to get to this next level you have to be able to jump over stuff you know we, we, we got to get over the, the struggles that we have during a daily basis and not look at it as in a traumatic way knowing that you'll be able to get over this challenge you know we're gonna have you know that's just life you know you're gonna always <laughs> be having something that's going on it, it just happens you're not gonna every Every day is not going to be a perfect day. You know, and it's just like some people I know, they get mad and they're like, well, I pray to God or I pray to the universe to have a good day. You can't do that, you know, because they can't guarantee you that's going to happen. Because especially if you, you know, sometimes you wake up, and you're determined, OK, I'm going to have a good day. Everything's going to be positive. This and this and that. When you get up in the morning, you have to be telling telling God or whoever you, you, you worship to, who you pray to, you know, be grateful. Because the fact is you woke up because a lot of people didn't. Be grateful that you can be able, whatever goes on throughout your life, be asking, can you just give me the strength to get through whatever I got to get through today? And then you look at it from that point of view. So it's just like I know that there are some people that go through things and they're like, I don't believe in this and I don't believe in that. You have to believe in something positive to a higher source. You know, you don't have to believe in God which is like, you know, I, I, you know, it's just me when people say that, you know, it kind of hurts my feelings and I don't know why, but it's just like, there's times that I said, you know, why did God allow these things to happen? You know, that was just me saying out of anger and I really st had to stop saying that because it's just like, if you want positive things to happen in your life, you have to believe in a higher source. You have to believe that whoever universe is honoring that higher source, you know, there's always a God, but it's just how you have to do do the concept of it that knowing if you believe that things are going to happen good for you things are going to happen but sometimes we get broken down in the situations that we have to go through for us to be able to become stronger and I tell people that you have you know there's times we are not we're going to go through a lot of hell and I remember when first starting this journey I said I used to say God how did you allow this to happen why you know, and it, it's just like when I can look at the situations and how many people I've helped them heal, be able to let them know this is what's going on and this is why you're having to go through it. And to be able to tell my story and, you know, let people know this is something I have to deal with on a daily basis. And some people can't even fathom that, a, a situation like that. And just like, I don't understand how I would have been able to get through something like that. But it's just to let you know when you're going through things of your own knowing even though it's not something that you know is easy to get over but you would know within time it'll be better for you so it's just like when you always want to go to these next levels you know there's always some some task you have to do to be able to get to that next level so if you've ever played a video game or whatever if you watched your kids do it or you know you played it with them before you're always knowing there's something that you always got to do stomp on the little you know mario brothers got to stomp on the little mushroom things and, you know, if you, you've got to hit a certain spot and be bumping up, up under it just to be able to get that big mushroom to be able to power up. So it's just like, you know, you, there's always something you have to do if you want to be able to get to that next level. You can't 
wait for things to be handed to you. You have to be, you know, waiting for things to change. You have to be able to go do the, the things you have to do to make that change. So, you know, knowing we're getting through this, knowing we all have a purge to do. And <laughs> we're going to get through it. Oh, and Miss Mickey, if you're watching this video, um, for what I was told from Source, they said that, you know, even though you're, they're not speaking to you no more, don't think that they're not keeping their eye on you. A teacher is always quiet during the test. So you're being tested. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. They're telling me you would know what that means and go with the flow with that. But it's just like when people exit out of our lives and you're just trying to wonder why, you know, this certain person is not talking to you or, you know, they just let go of me. They were there just for that season. They were supposed to help you learn whatever you needed to learn. Take from whatever you know your experience you have from them and see what it taught you D but don't ever think that you have not passed their mind and you know that that that's what's been said that you are being watched but you're also being tested at the same time so they say you will know what that means so hopefully you can take out of that message what you can out of it and you know with me being drained that's pretty much all i could get out of that but y'all i'm taking the next couple of days off this is my last video i'm gonna do for the next 24 to 48 hours if i'm only sometimes i tell y'all be off for two days and only take it one day but if if you know if c fit universe tell me okay this is your reward <laughs> you did diligently for the last few days we're gonna make you take three days off but you know i worry about that because you know the algorithm and stuff like that ain't trying to mess it up but I'm going to go ahead and make sure that is done. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to y'all. Y'all, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for the support and letting me know, hey, you can resonate with this. It's in you kind of validations that, you know, you're not going crazy. You're not alone. You're not doing this on your own. If I'm helping you, trust and believe universe has got your back as well. So, like I said, once again, please stop by my daughter's website. You know, if you can be able to donate whatever you can, I will greatly appreciate it. Let her know that, hey, you know, your mom, Rosalind, has uh, had me stop by. And just check out our website. It's very beautiful. You know, I think she shows, like, drawings and different things that she's putting in her book so she can have it. And she only got 20 day, 29 days left. So, if you can, go ahead and please stop by there it would be greatly appreciated from me and i will see you next uh next video much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing that you are all you know somebody is always praying for your better day because i know i am um jackie torres and ziggy moon much love to you i hope all is blessed and grand and sending love and energy and comfort and energy to everybody and knowing i love y'all and i will miss y'all and be y'all will be on my brain when um until I come back and you know I'm just gonna be relaxing for a couple of days because like I said in the last seven days I'm almost pushed out 30 videos within the last seven days so I am tired so I'm gonna go ahead and take that rest but I will talk to y'all later much love peace be wild like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line and I'll talk to you later bye